Hey uh, guys, got another horror DVD review for you today. Um, I've also got a new figure which I'll be showing you at the end, and it's from the very iconic horror series. So, yeah. Um, th time for the review firstly, and uh, it's of the 2009 Tortured. Oh, The Tortured, sorry. It's from the makers of Saw, so uh, obviously with the, there's a Saw thing that's been like Torch Pawn, and this one being called The Tortured, I thought you know, it can't go wrong with this, so I thought it'd be a good purchase. And I got it a couple of months ago, and it took me a while to get around to watching it, but finally today I watched it, and um, I've got extremely mixed reviews about it. I've, I can't get mad whether I liked it or whether I didn't like it. So, I'm going to start off by talking about the film now. So, um, it starts off like a, um, a young lad, no no older than ten, I believe he's around five or eight, something like that, I can't remember the exact age. Um, he's kidnapped by a serial killer and uh, murdered. Now, basically, um, in the court trial, the parents decide he hasn't got... Justice hasn't been served with the uh, sentence that he gets, and they decide to take it into their own hands by kidnapping and torturing the killer. And uh, it starts, it's kind of a slow start, I'd say. The film itself is only an hour and 12 minutes, I believe, so it's a short film. And um, it is, it's got a slow start, and there's not too much violence in the film. There's a couple of pretty okay torture scenes, nothing great, it's nothing saw worthy in there. Um, there's no extreme violence, and also stuff like. Stuff like that, you know, on the back, that's not that's never in the film. He's on a table the whole time. So, um, it's a bit misleading. And, uh, you know, he's never hung upside down as that as the cover kind of makes you believe. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's a low-budget film. Um, the acting, I thought, was pretty terrible. I think the the, uh, the main woman, sorry, was a really, really poor actress. And um, she just wasn't convincing. And also, the other couple, it's a man and a woman. Uh, they're, they're kind of they're young. They look too young for the part, really. And the man was, I think, terribly casted. And the actor just did not suit the role. He looked too young, too kind of just good looking and stuff. It just didn't seem right. And they didn't feel like a couple. And they, they just didn't seem like a real family to me. It was not believable. And again, like, the acting didn't help that either because the acting overall was pretty poor. Um, I found, like, overall, I was kind of watching the film, like, not too interested in it, not like, I wasn't loving it, but I wasn't kind of hating it. I mean, I was. I found myself pointing out a couple of flaws and stuff like that, so I wasn't fully engaged with it. But overall, it was a pretty good film. I think there was a couple of, say, a couple of things that didn't make sense or were pretty unnaturalistic. I think the dialogue in it was pretty poor overall. But, um, I don't know, there's something about the film I liked. I'd probably say it's the ending. It's got a really, really good ending. It's kind of worth watching the film for the ending. There's a twist at the end, and it's a really, really good twist. And, um, it made the film worth watching, and it made the film worth, you know, worth recommending to people. So, you know, it's it's got a good twist ending. But aside from that, there's not too much going for it. Like, it's it's a horror horror thriller. But um, I'd say most, it's more of a thriller than a horror. I'd say the first, hmm, I'd say the first like, 40 minutes of it seem like a thriller. And there's some pretty cool, intense scenes in there, but nothing too horrific, no really horror. I'd say the only horror in the film is the torture, like, that's visceral horror, but, um, I don't really, it's not like a, like a jumpy, scary kind of horror. Um, so I'd say it's more of a thriller, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it does fall in the horror category overall. Um, I'd say overall, I'm giving this film a four. No, I'm gonna give it a five out of ten for enjoyment and a, a six. I'd say I found it really interesting. So, yeah, I have to agree. It's interesting, but um, overall, no, the film didn't didn't. I didn't believe it. Like the reactions, they didn't seem like after the the, the son's murdered. They just didn't seem like a couple who just lost the son. They just like you know they kept the man, the, lead, the lead man was like you know. Depressed and stuff, but he still had time to you know, give his hair, make himself look good in the morning. Which I know it's a small thing, but it kind of takes you out the moment and kind of just doesn't make it seem realistic and natural. Because you know, if you've lost your son, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be upset all the time, you don't give a crap about how you look. And like, I just didn't find that believable. But I have to say again, the twist at the end was brilliant, I really enjoyed it. And um, it could be confusing to some, but if you just think about it, if you think about some of the stuff that's happened throughout the film, it does make sense and it's a pretty cool twist. And it's definitely made me recommend this film. So I would say watch this film. Um, it's nothing, there's no splatter, there's no mm, like insane violence, which I was expecting because it's from Saw, and just because of the overall look of the film. So in terms of violence, I was pretty let down, but um, it was an okay. It was an okay film. So uh, watch this film if you're into horror. Um, if you're not really into horror, I'd, if, even if you're into thrillers, actually watch this film. But um, I'm not going to say it's a must watch, but still watch it. So that's uh, the target. Now also time to show you my new figure, which I'm really happy about. I got it for fifteen pound <laughs> in 
Out of This World in Liverpool, it's like a comic book shop and it's a brilliant shop. So if you're ever in a... Is it, what's, what's the station called? Liverpool Lime Street. Lime Street Station. If you're in there, it's near there, so find it and go, i got this. It's uh, Jason. It's mm -hmm. from uh, the final chapter, which I believe is part four, done with Tommy Jarvis in where he's finally killed. And uh, he comes with a machete and he also has a cute little axe. Now, I can't help but take them out of the boxes. I think they're to be... They're to be sort of touched and played with, not that I play with them, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, like to be touched with, because they're just wasted in the box, I think. I know it's probably going to lose value, whatever, but um, I don't care really. At the moment, I probably will regret it, but yeah. <laughs> so that's my new figure, that's uh, Jason Voorhees, and he goes... He's going to fall. He's, yeah, he's going to fall. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and uh, that's my review of the torch and my new figure, so thank you.